All right, Illini fans, here we are. Like I said, wouldn't be surprised if Illinois lost to Chattanooga because Illinois, as we know, are offensively inconsistent, to say the least. And if you have been uh, <clears throat> following my channel, then you already know. So it's nothing new. How many times have I talked about Illinois being, you know, not a good free three-point shooting team a lot of times? 0 for 7. How many times have I said their free throw shooting is horrendous and it will cost them in a tournament? How many times have I said that? Like I said, <clears throat> I've been watching this team the entire year, and I know what I'm talking about. Turnovers, six turnovers, six assists. How many times have I talked about that? How many times? How many times have I talked about the turnover to assist ratio? How many times have I talked about the poor free throw shooting? How many times have I talked about the poor three-point shooting? And how many times <clears throat> have I said Trent Frazier is the most overrated player in Illini history to the, for, the, for the fans? A big zero. The only thing injured about Frazier is the people on Twitter who overhype him. Now, is Kofi getting fouled every time he gets the ball? Yes. Yes, he is. But that's why you lift weights. That's why you dedicate yourself to being strong with the ball and dunking on people. So Kofi's getting fouled every time he gets the ball. But you got to be a big man. You got to have strong hands. You got to be explosive. Get the ball and dunk. So, DeMonte Williams, the fifth-year senior, zero. Trent Frazier, the fifth-year senior, a zero. Granderson coming off injury as if he was going to do anything anyway, zero. Crabello, five and four. Plummer, two. Alfonso Plummer, two. Kobe's got 13 and eight. Um... If it wasn't for him, they'd be getting blown out even worse. Coleman Hawkins was 6-2. and two. Like I said all year long, if this Illinois team, it's like I said, I said that whoever wins the Big Ten, whoever's the Big Ten champion will be the worst Big Ten champion in re recent history. And time has proven me wise the big 10 is like the big 10 is like any other conference it's down the big 10 is not good no one's good everyone in college basketball sucks whoever wins a national championship will be the worst team to win a national championship in recent history um brad underwood would rather watch demonte williams and trent frazier score zero than to allow a freshman to get into the game. You should know Brad Underwood. Brad Underwood would only play a freshman if Trent Frazier, DeMonte Williams got injured and they couldn't return to the game. And even then, even then, he would hesitate. He would he would try to find a way to get someone else. You just went an entire first half of of tournament basketball and watch DeMonte Williams and Trent Frazier score zero. What more do you need to see to make a change? And I want all the people on Twitter who tell me how Trent Frazier is the best guard in the Big Ten, the best guard in the country. He should have his jersey retired. He's as good as Io DeSumo. I want all of you on Twitter to come to this channel right now 
And I want you to tell me that you're dead wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. You were drunk off foolishness. And now you see the light. Trent Frazier, at best, at best, is a player that in brief moments in a game every 10 games, he can score 10 points in like 20 minutes. That's the reality. Uh, on Twitter, you go on Twitter, Alfonso Plummer. On Twitter, all the Illini fans on Twitter hyping up Alfonso Plummer. Just the greatest, just the greatest player in the world. And we see how far that's got him. Hello, Charles. Hello, Patrick. Hello, Kenosha. Hello, Jay. Um, on Twitter, Illini fans, stop hyping up the players, please. Stop hyping up Illinois players. Just stop it. Uh, I'll, I'll have to get the link. I'll have to get the link to it. All right, Illinois is in danger of losing this game. Seriously, this this is Chattanooga too, and I don't want to hear anyone tell me, "Oh, well, Chattanooga is such a good team." You know, this is just a really tough game. No, no, you're supposedly the Big Ten champ. Supposedly, you're supposedly supposedly supposed to be the Big Ten champ and the best conference in bat in, in America. Supposedly. Look at that three-point shooting. Look at those free throws. Look at that turnover to assist ratio. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, Plum Plumber, Plumber, like anyone else, has had his moments where he'll score 20 points in one half and then score no points the second half. He's had his moments. Illinois players at their best can score 20 points and a half, but won't score the second half. There's Illinois players cannot play a full game. So the only hope Illinois can have, they have to hope that Trent Frazier catches fire, but don't hold your breath for that and can score 20 points and a half. And Kofi, Kofi is getting fouled every time he gets the ball, but he's got to be strong with his. He's just got to be stronger and more explosive. As soon as you get that ball, make your move. Don't hesitate. See, see how he hesitates. He doesn't know what to do. And when Coleman Hawkins is your hope at three point line, you might you might as well go home. You might as well pack your bags and go back. I've said it all year. This is a bad Illinois team. I, how long I've been saying that to all this time? People want to fight me on it. No, Illinois is not a bad team. Oh, yes, they are. Illinois is a bad basketball team. They're not good. And every game they play is more proof of what I'm talking about. Well, that's Plumber's contribution. And believe me, Brad Underwood. Brad Underwood, I disagree with him not playing the freshman. I disagree with the offense he runs. But Brad Underwood does care about winning. It's too bad he doesn't do anything about it, though. Because Kofi is lazy. In my in my unhumble opinion, Kofi is lazy. He's not dedicated. That's why he's going to come back. Kofi's coming back next year because he's got no shot at the NBA. None. Absolutely zero. So Kofi will come back next year, and he'll be the same exact player as he was this year. Man, they're lucky he didn't make that. Look at that out rebounded by Chattanooga. Man, where's your where's your pride at? Where's your pride? I know you have none. Losing, getting blown out by Chattanooga. 
Oh my gosh, dude! On Twitter, on Twitter, on Twitter, there was an Illini reporter, somebody. He said on Twitter that uh, they had picked Chattanooga to beat Illinois, like Charles Barkley and uh, somebody else. And I wrote on Twitter, I wouldn't be surprised they lost to Chattanooga. They're so offensively inconsistent. Um, so this is not a shock to me. I'm not surprised. Not at all. Lazy pass. Delicate hands of Kofi. Kofi needs to dedicate himself to basketball. He has got to get, he's got to get strength in his hands. He's got to get explosive. And you're getting blown out by Chattanooga. You're getting blown out by Chattanooga. You're getting blown out by Chattanooga. I'm telling you guys right now, <clears throat> I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see Plummer, Frazier, Williams, Kofi, Granderson. I can't wait to see them gone. I want them. Uh, when, that, when Illinois loses this game and they're gone, I'll be happy. I never want to see Trent Frazier, DeMonte Williams, Jacob Granderson, Alfonso Plummer again. They brought nothing to the program. They won nothing of any. They just won nothing. That Big Ten title, you really can't say that's something because the Big Ten sucked. Illinois is the worst Big Ten champion maybe ever. And the proof is a tournament. Look how many Big Ten teams have lost in the tournament already. The Big Ten sucks. And um, I, I don't want to see them ever again. Um, they're just no good. Um, but <clears throat> we have we have three recruits coming in. And those three recruits, without a doubt, will be better than DeMonte Williams, Alfonso Plummer, Trent Frazier, and Jacob Granderson. Uh, that much, that much I can tell you. So we can watch, uh, we can watch Ty Rogers. Um, Ty Rogers will be at the Jordan Classic game. And uh, Jaden, Jaden Epps was the MVP of the uh, one tournament. And uh, Sincere, he's still in his tournament. Uh, they're winning their game. Man, Brad Underwood, he refuses to play freshman. And, and he just he just won't do it. That's why the only way, the only way Luke, RJ, and Brandon stay at Illinois. Is because Granderson, Frazier, Plummer, and Williams are leaving. And I'll tell you this much. The three freshmen coming in for Illinois. I believe all three of them are better than the three freshmen we have now. And if those three freshmen come in and they start over those sophomores. You can expect all three of them players to leave the program. And, and it wouldn't bother me because. Um, I think uh, there, there's quite a bit of players on Illinois that need to leave the program. Uh, Coleman Hawkins can transfer out of the program. Also, I've, I've seen enough. I've seen enough of Coleman Hawkins. He's not a he's not a Big Ten player. He needs to go play for Chattanooga. He can come off their bench. Illinois has no fight, no heart. No, nothing. They're just nothing. They're just a big bag of nothing. Their offense is so pathetically bad. This offense is horrendous. I, I could watch better offense at a grade school game. Kofi is just lazy and weak. Lazy and weak. You have to be strong, Kofi. Yes, yes. You have to be strong. Look at you. You're so weak. You're so weak. What do you do? What do you do in your spare time? It sure as hell ain't working on your, your, your game. 
Man, getting blown out by Chattanooga. How embarrassing. And that's what Chattanooga in foul trouble. That's what makes it even more crazy. Well, that's a foul, obviously. It's a nice, hard foul. Well, Corbello, since Frazier and Williams can't score, would you like to try to score? I don't care who scores. Somebody needs to do something. Kofi, you took too long. <clears throat> Man, even though even though Coleman made that, Kofi hesitated to pass it. I'm telling you, Kofi does not have the mind of basketball. He just doesn't. Kofi is always a day late on what he wants to do with the ball. Like that, that's, that's that's one of Kofi's one of his biggest problems is mentally he cannot process basketball quickly. He has to take his time and think about it. Like as soon as he got that ball, he should have he should have tapped it to Coleman for a dunk, but he hesitated. He had to think about it. Well, if that's a foul on Corbello, I got to tell you, that's, uh, I mean, uh, I tell you what, that's, uh, well, you know what? Um, you just got to keep playing basketball. I mean, that's all you can do. Oh, man. And Kofi, Kofi worked hard on defense on that play. I wish, I wish I was a reporter for the game. If I was a reporter after this game, I would ask Brad, Brad. After Frazier and Williams scored zero in the first half, was there any thought to making a move to the freshmen seeing what they could provide? And you still have Frazier in the game with zero points. Plummer has two and Williams has two. Um, Brad, what was your why why didn't you why didn't you play the freshman, Brad? Didn't you want to win the game? Wasn't you willing to do anything as a coach to win this game? We know what they're going to do. Nothing. You don't know what the freshmen are going to do. You don't know. RJ might get in that game and start slashing to the rim dunking. You don't You don't know. Uh, Luke Good. Luke Good might start making threes. We don't know. But what we do know is Plummer sucks. Frazier sucks. Williams sucks. We don't need to think about it. We know this. So if I if I'm RJ, if I'm RJ and Luke Good and, and Brandon, I'm going to the coach saying, Coach, play me. Coach, play me. I'm gonna get the stat sheet. Coach, look at these zeros. Look at these zeros, coach. Put me in the game, coach. Look at this big fat zero for Frazier, coach. Put me in the game. Brad's got to be thinking about what is he going to say when they lose this game. Brad, uh, Brad's going to snap. Uh, Illinois, Illinois loses this game. Brad is going to snap, I'm telling you. And there's going to be people transferring. I put up. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now. If Illinois loses this game, 
Brad Underwood is going to have people transfer out because of what he's going to say. What he's going to say privately in the locker room and plus what he's going to say at the podium. I'm telling you. Brad has already been snapping this year at the podium. Brad has said some harsh things about his team already to the media. They lose this game. I'm telling you, Brad is going to snap in such a way that players are going to have hurt feelings and they're going to transfer out. Watch. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. Because Brad has already went public this year calling them soft. He's already said they sucked. He's already hurt their feelings. They lose to this team. Brad's going to snap. And people are going to transfer with hurt feelings. Uh, Coleman, why don't you whisper to Trent Frazier, do something. He can't make a bucket. Trent Frazier can't make a shot, man. I, 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 it's so bad. I feel bad for him. Trent Frazier can't make a bucket, man. I mean, he can't make a layup. He can't make anything. I feel so bad for the guy because this is horribly bad. Oh, my gosh. Million-dollar move and a one-penny finish. Can't make a layup. Gosh, Illinois sucks. Don't 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 call no more timeouts. Just get this game over with very quickly. My gosh, dude. He's got a force issue because no one on that floor can do anything about it. Here we go with this lame offense. This lame offense. This this offense is so lame. Trent Frazier can't buy a bucket. He couldn't. Oh my God. Trent Frazier couldn't hit water if he if he threw it off a boat. Somebody's got to score. Somebody's got to score. Is there anyone who wants to score? Maybe Kofi can. Nope, Kofi is so, oh, Kofi's bad. He's not explosive. Kofi plays offensively like his feet are in concrete. It's sad. Oh, my gosh. What is this, the Three Stooges? Where's your pride? Where's your heart? This is embarrassing. Oh, my gosh, dude. Well, you can put Chattanooga going through to Houston. So, Chattanooga versus Houston, I guess. Um, Gosh, this is embarrassing. This will set the program back 20 years. You lose as a one seed to Loyola. And then you follow it up by losing to Chattanooga. Why are you giving the ball to Coleman Hawkins? He doesn't even think about scoring. Why even give him the ball? I'm glad I'm not coach. If I was coach, I'd be ejected. If I was coach, I would be ejected. Because I would snap. I would snap and be ejected. And now Corbello is yelling at Coleman Hawkins. And then so the team is going to fight with each other because they know they suck. There's no composure. Why would you foul him? You're just lazy. Get him out of the game. Get him out of the game. Get Kofi out. He's, he's tired. He's lazy. Get him out. Oh, uh, now we're putting him in. Well, uh, there's, don't he's not going to score a bucket, so we ain't got to worry about that. Gosh, dude, watching these guys play is pathetic. Gosh. Man, oh man. (laughs) 
Oh, Illinois still has a chance. They still have a chance. All right, well, hopefully a <clears throat> box out. Illinois, Illinois doesn't know what a box out is. That's something that's just that that's that's just foreign terminology. Boxing out ain't something they ever heard of before. <clears throat> All right, Illinois. All right, maybe just maybe just maybe they might try to they might try to win this game. There's a chance. Plumber, plumber could get hot. Plumber could be hot. So plumber, plumber, he could be hot. He could drop. He could drop 12 points real quick, and then do nothing else for the rest of the game. But um, <clears throat> he could do that. Now here's 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 the reality though. If Illinois can get past Chattanooga, which Chattanooga is a bad team, I'm just going to tell you they're a, they're a terrible team. Man, dude, it, it's not looking good. It, it doesn't look good for Illinois. Tell you, Trent Frazier, he's got to find a way to get a bucket. He's I don't, I don't he's got to do something. Uh, drive to the rim, draw a foul, go to the free throw line, try to make a free throw. But Trent Frazier hasn't made any kind of shot. And and when since when? When's the last time Trent Frazier has made a shot? It's been a not this game for sure. I don't know in the last game when he made a shot. What do you score? Two points in the last game? It's been a long time. Trent Frazier has to drive to the rim, try to get a layup, and then uh, draw a foul, shoot a free throw. Because he doesn't even know what it, he does not know what it's like to make a, a, a basket. He doesn't even know. Trent Frazier has not scored a point in such a long time. He doesn't even know what it's like. He needs help. Because Illinois gets losers on their team. That's really why. You know, Illinois... Illinois basketball, if you were going to write a book about Illinois basketball, what you would write is what could have been. What could have been. Illinois is always in the position of what could have been. You know, if E.J. Liddell would have came to Illinois instead of useless Ohio State, Illinois would have won a national championship last year, and then they'd be competing for back-to-back -back championships this year. But he goes to Ohio State. Every every time, man, it's what it's always what could have been for Illinois. What could have been. Because Illinois is they're inconsistent. There are games where Trent Frazier and Plummer can score 20-plus points each, like they did against Arizona. But the problem is you can't count on it. It's, it's just random, inconsistent luck. Illinois at their best with Trent Frazier getting hot for a little bit, scoring 20, 
Plumber getting hot, scoring 20. And then Granderson getting hot, scoring 15. Kofi dropping 25. It can happen, but it's it's like a shooting star. It's just very rare. If you go back and look at Illinois' games, go back and look at every Illinois game and look at the scoring. It's just like a shooting star to see Trent Frazier and Plummer score 20 each in a game. It just doesn't happen. I'm telling you, Trent Frazier is a big problem on this team because how many times does he score zero points in a game? He does it a lot. There's a lot of times Trent Frazier will score zero or two points in the game. And that's and that really hurts their team so much. Give it to Plummer. Give it to Plummer and make make it happen. Oh, Kofi actually used a little energy. He actually used a little energy and and was able to make a little bunny, but he almost missed it. Great defense, great defense, Illinois. Like you can't even like that's just sad. Your your defense is sad. Pathetic. It's actually pathetic. Give it to Plummer. Give it to Plummer. Give it to Plummer. Are you blind? Are you dumb? Give it to Plummer. Give the ball to Plummer. Give the ball to Plummer. Oh my gosh. I I, I blame Plummer. I blame Alfonso Plummer. First of all, get Trent, get Trent Frazier out of the game. That's number one. Trent Frazier sucks. Get him out of the game. That's number one. Number two. Alfonso Plummer needs to go to Andre Cabello, smack him across his face, and demand that he get the ball. What game are they playing? Get Plummer the ball. Why is Frazier in the game? I this is this is this is insanity. He's not oh my gosh, dude. Give the ball to Plummer. Give the ball to Plummer. Plummer. Demand the ball, Plummer. Demand the ball, Plummer. Demand the ball, Plummer. Do something to demand the ball. Man, Trent Frazier sucks. Gosh. Nice defense, pain, lazy feet. New Chattanooga's feeling it. Chattanooga's feeling it. They believe. They believe. Oh, Trent Frazier, zero, zero, zero. Zero. Um, I guess I'll go on Twitter and ask Illinois fans when when are they going to retire Frazier's jersey after this performance? Oh my gosh, dude! Now, <clears throat> Illinois might lose this game for real. Like they they really might lose this game, dude. If Il- if Illinois loses this game, I'm telling you, there is going to be transfers happening. People are going to leave the program. Um, Brad Underwood's going to snap. Um, it's just going to be bad. And at the end of the day, 
the players just need to look in the mirror and just admit to yourself you suck. That's all you can do. If you're Trent Frazier, you got to look in the mirror and say, I've been here for five years. I've been here for five years. And I got zero points in the tournament game. If you're DeMonte Williams, you got to say, I've been here for five years. And here I am in the tournament game getting two points. You got to you gotta just, just got to deal with the reality. And, um, wow. But, uh, yeah, it's hard. <clears throat> well, that's why you can't get the top recruits. You can't get the top recruits when you suck. I mean, that's unless you spend the money, unless you buy them. So, <clears throat> yeah, this really, uh, really hurts. Well, that's the danger of what Brad Underwood's doing. Brad Underwood's putting these freshmen in a position to where they might just leave. Yeah. Well, next year, Brad will have no choice. I mean, Brad will have no choice but to play the sophomore and freshman. I expect Kofi to come back, unfortunately, because he's got no chance at the NBA, so there's no chance of that happening. So I, I could see Kofi coming back for his fourth year. But is he going to work hard? No. Is he going to come back explosive? No. Is he going to come back with higher basketball IQ? No. It's going to be the same. You put in Benjamin. That's who you put in? That's who you put in the game? Well, I I, I tell you, I, I guess RJ must have, uh, he must have, uh, RJ must have did something to the coach or something. I don't know what he did. Illinois is out of control, dude. You got Benjamin in the game and you won't play RJ? Are you serious, Brad Underwood? Dude, what did you do? Did you did you promise that you'll you won't play the freshman? Is that is Dude, freshman, get off the bench and put yourself in the game. In this situation, you have to put yourself in the game. I'm telling you right now, if I'm a freshman, I am standing up and I'm going into the game. And if Brad has anything to say about it, you're a loser. Um, I'm, I'm in the game. I'm, I'm going to win this game. The freshmen need to get into this game and provide something. See, that's not going to work. I'm telling you, the freshmen need to get up, go into the game without Brad Underwood telling them. Forget about Brad Underwood. Do what's best for the team. Oh my gosh, this is pathetic. Put the freshman in, Brad, you little dummy. Brad's a dumb coach sometimes. Sometimes, I'm not going to lie. Brad Underwood, sometimes he's a very dumb coach. He doesn't see what's going on in the game. He doesn't get it. There we go. Plumber's hot. Plumber's on fire. Give him the ball. My gosh. Give him the ball. He's on fire. Which means they won't give him the ball. Normal, as you can see. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, maybe I, yeah, I can. So, Plummer is hot, which means Illinois won't give him the ball because that's Illinois basketball. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Kofi actually jumped off the ground. Why would you give... Hawkins can't handle that kind of play. Hawkins cannot handle that kind of play. It's just like I said. Plummer is hot, so they won't give him the ball. Dude, I'm, oh my, I, I'm taking over. I'm going to be the coach of Illinois. I will be coaching the Illini from this day forth. I'll take over because we have a player who's hot, and you won't give him the ball. That's not going to happen. I will bench you. I will make you transfer. I don't need that kind of, I don't need that kind of basketball on my team. Where's Plummer? Get him open. Give him the ball. He's hot. Make it happen. Plummer. 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 He's hot. Plummer is hot. Plummer is hot. Oh, my gosh. Plummer is hot, so they don't give him the ball. This is Illinois basketball. Um, if, if they run plays... They should not run them any. They should not run plays anymore. Um, I can tell you that much. Um, it's not about a play. It's about Plumber being hot and you not getting him the ball. That's what it's about. Plumber is hot. Give him the ball. This is this this is this is this is this is elementary basketball. This is not hard. Illinois is terribly coached. The players suck. Um, there's no basketball IQ. There's no ability. Um, Alfonso Plummer is hot, and no one can get him the ball. I've never seen. I've never seen this kind of stuff before. I've never seen this kind of basketball being played. I, I've never seen such things. All right, guys, Alfonso. Alfonso Plummer is hot. Let's not give him the ball. Yeah, coach, that's a great play. Great play. But I blame Plummer too. Like I said, Plummer needs to go to Cabello and Trent Frazier and smack them across their face and say, I'm hot. Get me the ball. It's that simple. But he's too much of a punk. He'll just sit there at the three-point line, just wishing he got the ball. But that's not going to get you nothing. Now, I, I would tell Brad Underwood to his face that his offense sucks. His style of offense sucks. His sets suck. His plays suck. His refusal to play the freshman, that sucks. Keeping Trent Frazier in the game. When he has zero points, that's stupid. And coach, you got to do better. There's no excuses. Well, when Cabello gets the ball, it doesn't matter what's going on. Cabello has it in his little mind of what he's going to do when he gets that ball. And it, it doesn't matter what's happening. It doesn't matter if Alfonso Plummer's hot. It doesn't matter. He's going to do what he already had in his little brain to do. And Coleman Hawkins, when Coleman Hawkins got that ball, Plummer was wide open for a three. But do you think Coleman Hawkins was thinking about Plummer being hot? No. Coleman Hawkins was thinking, I'm going to get me a bucket. That's what he was thinking.
See, 13 turnovers, 12 assists. 13 turnovers, 12 assists. That's how you lose. 9 out of 17, that's how you lose. 3 out of 15, that's how you lose. 39%, that's how you lose. Illinois is a bad basketball team. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, Terrell Owens went to Chattanooga. I tell you what, Terrell Owens can be kind of crazy in his brain, kind of a crazy dude in his brain, but I tell you what, he sure does know how to and is dedicated to staying in peak physical condition. If nothing else, Terrell Owens can stay in shape. Yes, make me coach. You make me coach, and I can promise you, you'll never see anything like this because Frazier would be sitting on the bench with me. You'd have DeMonte, Jacob, and uh, Frazier would be riding the bench while the freshmen are out there. That, that's a fact. Oh, that was a tough, 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 tough shot. Almost went down. Shoot it again, plumber. That's hey, it's okay. That was a tough shot. Shoot it again. You're hot. You're not perfect, but you're hot. I'd be crying too. I'd be crying too if I was a female. If I was a female, I'd be crying tears too. My 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 players, my team sucks. This is an this is an embarrassment to everyone involved with Illinois athletics. Illinois could lose to Chattanooga. That's uh, that's just that's just sad. Nice pass, Andre. Really nice, man. Brad Brad has no one to turn to. He won't play the freshman, so he he just he's gonna sit there and take it. Well, Kofi gets fouled every time he every time he, they play. I mean, every time every time Kofi even is even around the ball, he gets fouled. But but still, you got to be strong. Well, if Kofi goes to the free throw line, pfft, good luck, guys. Good luck. Ooh, well, man, he's taking such tough shots. They can't, they can't get him open better than that. You can't set a screen. You can't do something better than that. Man, Plummer, he he's taking incredibly hard shots. Like somebody's got to set a pick. Somebody's got to do something. Because obviously Plummer can't get open by himself. So help him out. Get him open. Well, Trent Frazier may make he may make a bucket. Let's see. Man, dude, that dude's had a terrible game. Makes the free throw. That's one point. He may get two points this game right here. I feel bad for him. He wants to cry. If you look at Trent Frazier's eyes, he wants to cry. 
He knows the team has played horrible. He knows he's played horrible. And that and that's a young man that wants to cry. He wants to go into the locker room and cry. Cry about his performance, about the team's performance, about the coaching. Illinois is in danger. They are in danger. They better hope Chattanooga doesn't score another bucket. Mm. Kofi's coming back next year, but I don't want him to. He he has he has, I just don't want to see him. Um, he just I I just I want to see something different. I I don't even want to see this anymore. I I want to see the three freshmen play, the three sophomore play. I don't want to see Kofi. I don't want to see none of these guys. Um, I've seen enough, and and, and Andre Corbello can transfer too. Andre Corbello and Coleman Hawkins should both transfer. Unless they're going to do something about their pathetic offensive game, then they, they could just transfer too. If Corbello's going to be a turnover machine and miss layups, he can transfer out. Yeah, Corbello, Corbello needs to transfer. He needs to be gone. Get out of here. You're, you're done. I'm telling Coleman Hawkins and, Cor and Corbello to transfer. I'm getting rid of everybody on that team except for the three freshmen, and then um, everyone else got to go. I'm telling everyone, get out. You're done. It is ridiculous. All right, this is going to be crunch time. Who's going to score in crunch time when it matters the most? When it matters the most. That player should have spent baseline once he caught that ball, but he didn't. Kofi, your defense in the post is horrendous. You're lucky that player is just as that player is bad. All right, Illinois hasn't had the lead since I don't know when. Ever? Well, plumber's cold. Plumber's cold. It's too late. You waited. You just couldn't get him going. It's too. It's, it's already done. See. Now we're going to see the biggest problem with Illinois. It's crunch time. There's nobody on that team who you can give the ball to who can get buckets when it matters the most. If Kofi gets the ball, he'll get fouled. He can't make a free throw. We already know Plummer's cold. Trent Frazier can't score a bucket. Um, thankfully, he scored a couple free throws. Um, we know Coleman Hawkins ain't going to do nothing about it. So this is a huge problem. How are you going to score with a minute left in the game? How? Who's going to do it? George Merson. All right, Illinois hasn't had the lead in this entire game. And here we are in crunch time. We are in crunch time. We need someone to make a bucket. 
Thankfully, Plummer got us back into the game, scoring 11 points this half. Plum, uh, Alfonso Plummer's 11 points in the second half is the reason why we're down by one. If it wasn't for him, my gosh, Illinois would be getting blown out. Chattanooga sucks. Well, thankfully, Chattanooga, they don't have anybody on their team that can score a bucket in crunch time. So we got ourselves one heck of a one minute left in the game. Both teams don't have anyone who can score a bucket in crunch time. All right, here we go. If I'm Chattanooga, I am following Kofi every time because I want him to shoot the free throws. If you're Chattanooga, you have to have Kofi at the free throw line. If you don't, you're insane. Um, as we remember, Illinois at the free throw line is 11 out of 19, 57%. Like I said, like I said to you guys, I told you guys, free throw shooting is not a strength of Illinois. All right, Chattanooga has no one on their team that can get a bucket, so Illinois should be they they, they should have a chance. And they got lucky on that. Good rebound and good make by Kofi. Well, the offensive player ran into his body, so it should have been a no call, but you know how this you know you know how this goes. Just get the rebound. Uh spaghetti. You're insane if you think this team is going to the lead eight. No way. This team this team might not win this game. This game is not over. There's no way Illinois is beating Houston. No way. All right, who's going to be a hero? Who's going to be the hero? How about Coleman Hawkins take a half-court three? Oh, man, what a call. Uh, Spaghetti saying Illinois is going to lose a game. That's not, that's not anything special. <laughs> Illinois has got to win this game. This is a horrible Illinois team. Horribly bad. No, it's just, it's just the fact that college basketball sucks this year. Um, there's no great teams. There's no good teams. Just a bunch of average at best teams. So...
So, we'll see what Illinois plays next. Probably going to be Houston. Ooh. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Man, hey. <laughs> you talk about sweating it out. Man, oh man, dude. Hey, it's all about surviving. You almost lost to Chattanooga. Dang, dude. If he would have made this bucket, it would have been over. Wide open. Ooh, wide open. Couldn't be. Like I said, Chattanooga has no one who could score either. <laughs> Trent Frazier ain't going to be doing nothing that game. I'm sorry. So 39% from the floor, 17% from the three-point line, and 59% from the free throw line. Thankfully, Chattanooga is even worse than them at free throw shooting. Thankfully, 13 turnovers, 13 assists um, for Chattanooga. Chattanooga sucks, but Illinois is not much better, as you can clearly see. Illinois is to the Elite Eight. Man, I wish, I wish. I wish. But Illinois, they survive. A thriller against Chattanooga. So, I got Illinois getting blown out in the next round to Houston. That's what I'm thinking. Not because Houston is some good team. No, just because Illinois sucks. That's the only reason why. And remember this. Remember. If Alfonso Plummer didn't get hot for a brief moment in the second half, Illinois loses this game by double digits. So we have to give credit to Alfonso Plummer getting hot for three minutes in the game. If Plummer doesn't score 13 points in the second half, Illinois gets blown out. So, a lot of a lot of credit goes to Alfonso Plummer because he's the reason why Illinois wins this game by one. Make no mistake about it. So, Alfonso Plummer is the MVP of the game because he scored 13 points in the second half. Um. And that's all there is to it. All right, so Illinois moving on to face most likely Houston. Second round game. And it's a great opportunity for Trent Frazier to snap out of it and score 20 points. It's an opportunity for Cabello to play a game without turnovers and missing layups. It's a great opportunity for a plumber to score 20 plus. It's a great opportunity for Kofi to score 20 plus. It's an opportunity. Well, Spaghetti, I would love nothing more than for Illinois to win a national championship. I would be all for it. But I have to be honest. I think Illinois sucks. I don't think they're beating Houston because I think Illinois sucks. So I hope Illinois wins it all. I hope they do. But I just don't think they will. You can't you can't win. You can't go to the Elite Eight. 
You cannot go to the Elite Eight shooting this poorly. You can't. It's impossible. It is literally impossible. When you shoot this bad from the floor, three-point land, and free throws, and have this many turnovers, you're not going to the Elite Eight. It's, it, that is absolutely it's impossible. It can't happen. You just you just can't. It's impossible. You can't play this horrible and make it to the lead eight. It can't be done. And these and this is nothing new. Illinois has been shooting this poorly from the free throw line the whole year. Illinois has played plenty of games with this kind of three point shooting. They played plenty of games with this kind of piss poor field goal percentage. And we know they played plenty of games with turnovers. So, no way, no how are they going to the Elite Eight shooting this poorly. It just can't be done. Yes, Andre Corbello. If Andre Corbello doesn't change the way he plays dramatically, he should transfer immediately. So the last thing I'll say is this. I want Kofi to go away. I want Coleman to transfer. Goodbye to Trent, Alfonso, DeMonte, and Jacob. I want Benjamin to transfer. I want Omar Payne to transfer. I want Andre Corbello to transfer. I want everyone on this team except for the three freshmen to go. Because I'm tired of seeing them play. I'm tired of it. So I don't want to see them. So. All right. Illinois wins. So. Moving on to this game. Um, So yeah. I'll see you guys when they play Houston. And we'll see what happens in that game. Um, What an amazing contest. Yeah, right. Yeah. Big head, I I big head, I I would love for that to happen. I would, but it's not going to happen. This team sucks. But I, I hope I hope they do. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. I hope Illinois wins a national championship. Please believe me. But I have to be honest. And honestly, they suck. They just do. All right, guys. I'll catch you when they play Houston. Have a good one.